Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Okay, hello, Michelle. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Sara. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is, is anyone having problems with the, with the test? Is anyone having problems with the test? No. De la, de la plataforma. The test, uh-huh, the final test, final exam? No, teacher. Everybody's good? Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, hello, Vladimir. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Are you finished with the test? No, yet. Okay. All right. Okay, give me give me one second. We'll start right now. Okay, let me share my computer with you. And maybe we can do a, a little review. Uh, yesterday we were working on future with B and going to. Also, we talked about will. Okay, if, uh, if, if you want to go to a mute. Okay, very good. Future with going and will. Why do we use going to? We use it to talk about plans that you have already decided. And we use will for possible plans, okay? Possible plans. And going to for plans you have already decided on, okay? So the structure for going to is subject, plus verb to be, plus going to, plus another verb. You need another verb. So a lot of people forgot this verb, okay? And the complement. For example, I am subject plus verb to be, going to, and then you have regular verb, relax at the beach. I am going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day. We, subject, are, aquí está el verb to be, going to, and then surfing is a verb, okay? Very good. Then we use, then we use um, will for possible situations. And we said we can use these words. I guess, maybe, I think, okay, probably. So we can use these words with will, okay? For example, you can say, I'm not sure, I guess I'll stay home. Maybe I'll just watch a few DVDs. I don't know, I think I'll go camping. Probably won't go anywhere, okay? So you can use will or you can use, aquí está, won't, the negative of will, okay? And yesterday we were practicing some, some questions, okay? So let me take some time to, we can have a little discussion. And for example, this is uh, when you want to express plans that you have already decided on. Uh, for example, Vladimir, 
what are you going to do next week? I guess I will, I will go to Santana. Okay, very good. So, usaste esta, verdad? Will. Okay. You can use yes. for the question, you can use Because going I'm not to. sure. Uh huh, very good. You can use going to or you can use will. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, Michelle, okay. what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to be in classes. Okay, I'm going to be in class. Very good. Uh, Sara, what are you planning to do after this module? Uh, you're on mute. Mute, mute. Ah, uh, hello? Repeat. Maybe I will practice yoga, maybe. Okay, very good. All right. What are you going to do, uh, Stephanie? What are you going to do one year from now? One year from now, what are you going to do? Maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm going to travel to other country. Very good. Okay. Carla, uh, what are you planning to do one year from now? I guess I will to study Excel. I will study. I, I think I'm going to study Excel. Yes. Ok, very good. Si, si no estás segura, entonces usa will. I think I will. Ok. I guess I will. Yes, I guess I will. You can say I guess I will. Very good. Ok, Andrea, what are you going to do after you graduate from this English program? Andrea, what are you going to do after you graduate from this English program? I I actually don't know. I mean, um, there's not like a purpose before, uh, after finishing the this. So I don't know. Okay. Maybe you have an idea. Maybe say, for example, you want to study another language. Then mm. you can say, maybe. Okay, you can maybe, use... maybe I will start mm. uh, studying another language. Yes, very good. Very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then you can have simple questions. For example, what time will you eat breakfast? And some people don't have a schedule, right? Some people depende del día, lo que tengo que hacer. So uh, I think maybe I will eat breakfast at 9 a.m. Okay. So maybe you don't know, you're not sure, you can use will. Okay. All right. So we, pr we practiced these questions yesterday. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions about this going to and will, when do you use it? No? Alguien tiene preguntas sobre esa sección? Okay. I asked you to practice this to help you put your knowledge in perspective. Okay. ¿Cuántas personas lo hicieron? ¿Cuántas pers personas pudieron llenar este cuadro? Okay, so, Teacher, nadie me lo mandó, ni una Teacher, sola persona me lo mandó. Pero it, it's okay, it's okay, no era tarea, no era obligación, sino simplemente para que ustedes pongan su, todo lo knowledge de los verb tenses y lo pongan en contexto. Okay, do you have any questions about this? We're going to finish this today. We're going to work on this today. 
Okay. Teacher. So, uh huh. In this case, verb to be is different and the um, simple. Hold on. In simple tense. Don't use did. Only verbs. Okay. Solo, solo quería tomar la foto de asistencia, Sara. Uh, your question is in simple tense. Wait, simple tense, okay, simple present? Yeah. All tense. Mm, pero do is for present. Por ejemplo, right? en, en, la, en el ejemplo de ayer, eh, pad de playa, eh, I play, este, después presente, I play, y después en el futuro, I will play. En, en lo negativo, mm -hmm. eh, se le agregó did y y uh -huh. don't, I, uh -huh. pero en el verbo to be es el único que el mismo verbo se ocupa, ¿verdad? Mm. Sí, solamente que, no sé si me estás hablando, el, el único que de, de estos verb tenses, el único que tiene el verb to be es el present continuous. Es, es decir, estos, los verdes, uh -huh. ellos incluyen el verb to be. El simple tense, simple present, simple past, simple future, no incluye el verb to be. For example, I am playing. Este incluye el verb to be. I am. I play. Basically. No incluye el verb to be. Do you see? No sé, no sé si, te, si te aclaro un poquito eso. No? No sé si esa era, esa era tu pregunta. No? Por ejemplo, este verbo, I play, si lo ponemos en negativo, Ponemos, I play not. No, I don't play. I don't. Pero si fuera el verbo to be, ponemos, pero, I pero not. Verb, sí, pero el verbo to be no va aquí en este verb tense. Ah, va, eso quería saber. Sí, el verbo to be, el único, ahorita estamos hablando del verb tenses, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. El único que tiene el verbo to be va a ser este. Estos van a tener el verbo to be. Okay. Estos no. Estos no tienen verb to be. Okay. So let's do let's let's do the same practice that I that I was doing yesterday. Okay. And then you guys are going to do it. Lo van a trabajar en grupo. Okay. So that you guys can finish this together. Okay. So I play baseball. Negative. I don't play baseball. Okay. Question, do you play baseball? Okay. You can change it, right? You can say, now, ¿qué pasa si yo quiero usar he or she or it? Does. Does. Auxiliary is does. Mm -hmm. El auxiliary is does. So, esa es la, la regla del simple present, right? Do or does. Does for he, she, it. Okay. Now, negative, I mean, sorry, uh, past, I played, I played. Negative, I have to use the verb, uh, auxiliary verb, did. I didn't play baseball. Question, did you play baseball? Okay. Okay. In future, I will play baseball. I will, I will not. ¿Cuál es el, el, el contracción de will not? Won't. I won't play baseball. Okay. Question. Will you play baseball? Okay, very good. So. Ustedes van a hacer lo mismo, simplemente lo van a cambiar. Pueden usar he or she. You can use a different verb. You can use a regular verb or irregular verb. Present continuous, I am playing. I am playing baseball. Negative, I am not playing baseball. Question, are you playing baseball? 
okay? And then past, I changed the verb to be in the past. What is the past? What? Was. Was where? I was, I was playing. I was not playing baseball. Right? And question? I have to use, if I'm talking to another Where person, are you? I have to use- Where are you? You playing baseball. Okay, question. Now, aquí viene lo que hicimos ayer, right? De la sección 5. Estudiamos will, okay? And estudiamos, no lo puede, ya lo van a ver aquí abajo, pero es going to, okay? El que no estudiamos. Teacher, this, this contraction is gonna. Is correct, es no, informal. No, it's in, eso es bien informal. Gonna. No, uh, just say, I'm not going, you can say going to. Um, mira, speaking, it's okay, but writing, no existe la palabra gonna. Gracias, Speak, profe. Speaking, it's okay, ¿verdad? Because we use more, sometimes informal language, right? And it's okay. All right, so. Yesterday we did going to, right? I'm going to play baseball. Negative. I am not. I am not going to, going play, to play baseball, right? And question? You put the, the same. Uh, you start with the verb to be. Are you? Okay. Voy a cambiar el sujeto y tengo que cambiar el verb to be para hacer la pregunta a otra persona. Are you going to play baseball? Okay, question. Now, el que no hicimos ayer fue este. Will be. Okay? You can say, I will be, and then ing. I will be playing baseball. What are you going to do next week? Saturday, in the afternoon, I will be playing baseball. I won't be playing baseball, okay? And then, question, will you be playing baseball, okay? Preguntas? So. In question, you can mm -hmm. add, uh, for example, will you be playing baseball the next week? In a question. You can say, I will be playing baseball next week. Uh-huh. Ahí solo le agregas uno time expression. Next week. Yeah. Next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, no problem. Uh, so, ¿cuántos <coughs> verb tenses tenemos? Doce. One, two, co correct, son doce. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Okay, so intermediate level, you should be able to handle all these, okay? You should be able to speak in the present, speak in, speak in the past, speak in the future, speak in continuous, past, present, and future, okay? So let's, let's do uh, a little activity right now. Let's go into groups, okay? Uh, Teacher. Yes. I am a little confused. Will be y going to. Eh, solo se va a poner will be. No importa, sea. Sí, will be. Primera eh, o segunda persona. Sí, correcto. Siempre okay. es, es. Will be es parte de la estructura. Esa no la puedes cambiar. Ok. Hablando de este, de will be here. Right? La estructura es will be and then ing. Después viene un verbo con ing. Okay. Este es diferente. Aquí tengo el verb to be. Subject, verb to be, I am going. I am going to play. Okay. So, we're going to do an activity. We're going to go into groups. Okay. Le voy a dar este ejemplo. 
Y también en el grupo de WhatsApp, ayer yo puse un Word Document, el cual ustedes pueden abrir. O si quieren eh, solamente pues, hacer su propio o, o, o practicar. Quiero que traten de llenar este cuadro eh, de los seis verb tenses que vimos. Ok, let's go to groups. Grupo de dos. Let's go to groups. No, Stephanie. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put you in another group. Uh, oh. Tenía otra persona aquí, pero está teniendo problemas con su audio. Okay? okay. So let me put you in another group. Oh, let's see. I have another person, Eric. So I'm going to put them here. Okay, Sara, what happened to the other person? Se salió. No, no le escucho, es que, es que está en mute. Este, estuve, pero se desapareció la persona. Ok, very good. So, eh, what you can do is... Profe, you... antes que me pase con otra persona, uh -huh. dice que estaba viendo que me he confundido un poco con, con la parte número 5. Porque cuando es una, eh, estamos hablando que cuando vamos a decir, por ejemplo, I guess I will wash, eh, ahí pongo I will wash y esto transforma el verbo en, en yo vereba o el fútbol game. Pero uh -huh. en esta forma que estamos poniendo allí, lleva I will be siguiendo el otro verbo, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, pero... La forma que tú estás viendo o sea, allí. I will be, yo estaré. Yo estaré no, no. y lo que sigue. Sí, pero estás confundiendo. Eh, si tú ves el cuadrito que yo, que yo les presenté. Uh -huh. Quiero compartir, déjame ver si puedo compartir mi pantalla. 
Creo que ahorita no puedo compartir mi pantalla contigo. Ok, en el cuadrito que yo les mandé está Simple Future, el uso de la palabra Will. Uh -huh. Ese Simple Future Will es el que están presentando en la plataforma de inglés corporativo en el 5, la sección 5. Va. Ok. Ayer uh -huh. yo, les, yo les di uno extra que no está en la plataforma, que es Will Be. Uh -huh. Entonces, no confundan los dos. Va, este, sí, allí me confundí porque solo estoy, estoy analizando la estructura, va, porque ese lleva I will be wash y yo aquí estaba viendo I will wash. Ahí es donde me confundí con esa estructura. Sí, sí porque el, el que están presentando en la plataforma de inglés corporativo, es el que yo presento en el cuadrito como el simple future. Solamente will. Uh -huh. No es will. Eh, el continuous, el future continuous. Con will. Y, en el cuadrito que, y en el cuadrito que, acabo, que acabamos de hacer, este, después de will, bajamos a going to. Eh, ese no, 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 no se va a llenar la parte de atrás, o sí. Um, vaya, el cuadrito que yo les mandé uh -huh. tiene, hablando del futuro, sí. tiene Simple Future Will, que es el que está, este, están presentando en el video en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Después, Future Continuous, hay dos. Will be y going to. Ya lo entendí, profe. Ya lo entendí. Ajá. El continuo, el que nosotros estamos viendo aquí es el simple. Y el que usted nos mostró ayer es el continuo y hay dos formas. Uh -huh. Will be y going to. Correcto, correcto. Va, ya, me, ya, ya, ya. Ok. Ya, ya me de. So, Ajá. trate de mirar si podés completar el cuadrito. Right? Va, ahorita voy a, a, a ver en WhatsApp. Ok. And the verb, if you yeah. want. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is... Let's begin with. Hi. Let's begin with simple tense and fast. Yeah. Um, just give me a minute because I can hear you. Okay. Uh, She, okay, tell me. She drove a car. Teacher, a question. Mm -hmm. Today, I mean, this week is the last week. Carlos? Uh huh, question. This week, it will be the last week. This week is the last week, yes. Ah, uh, okay. So Friday. Mm -hmm. So Friday. Okay, we continue. Yes. And I have another question. Uh, when we finish, uh, for example, Saturday is the last day we can complete uh, all worships. I don't know if it's Saturday or Friday. I don't know if it's Saturday or Friday. Okay. Muchas veces lo extienden hasta el domingo, right? But I don't know. I recommend that you try to complete it by, by Friday. Okay. And for this, we complete this, this six verse tense, right? Yes, right now, try to work on that. Complete that, that square, complete the chart, because that's okay. going to help you uh, okay. put what you know now. Okay, uh, I finished the first time and now I'm going to change the subject and the verb mm -hmm. to complete again the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, uh, she, she dropped a car. Mm -hmm. She didn't drop a car. Did she drive a car? Okay. Now, solamente que drive, it's a irregular verb, right? So what is the right. past? 
Drove. Drove. Ah, okay, okay. Ahorita estás haciendo present. Only present. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Past. Uh, we start with past and then present and then future. Okay. All right. So, Rafael, yes. can you continue with present? With simple person. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, no, I, I can. Why? I use she drive. What you need to do is look at the the the, the chart that I send you. Ah, it's raining. This. Ah, it's okay. raining. Okay, very good. So you can continue, Valdemir. For example, the same example that you have, but you have to put an S on the verb. Remember, simple present. Yes. Uh -huh. Simple so, present. Como sería with the simple present? Ah, uh, she. She's driving. She no. drive a car. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm, ninguna, ninguna de esas. She, Simple. she drives. Ah, uh, she drives. Yes, yeah, third person. I forget. Mm -hmm. it. She drives a car. Yes. Does she drive a car? Eh, oh, eh, this is a question. And then uh, she doesn't drive a car. Correct. She doesn't drive a car. And then question? Does she drive a car? Does she drive a car? Very good. In future? She, she will drive a car. She won't drive a car. Will she drive a car? Correct. Okay, so that's will. Okay. And now the you go to ing. Progressive ing. Uh, she is driving a car. She isn't driving. Uh, she isn't driving a car. Is she driving a car? Correct. 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 And then mm -hmm. with pass, right. Uh, she was drive driving a car. Uh, she wasn't driving a car. Was she driving a car? Mm -hmm. And the last with a uh, future, right? Going to. Mm -hmm. Bueno, I going dose. to. You have will be and then going to. Uh, first with going to. She going to drive a car. Uh, she gone. She. She isn't, no, she, first, I confused. ¿Dónde estás? Future, continuous or future. past continuous? Okay, past, uh, pre, future continuous. You have future will be, continuous. you have will be or going to. You have, she you going to drive a, uh, uh -huh. she going to drive a car. She, she is going, she isn't mm -hmm. going to drive a car. Correct. And mm -hmm. is she going to drive a car? Very good. Very good. I stand. Now, what about will be? Will be. Uh, she will be drive a car. No. ING. Ah, After will, will be, be you use ing. Mm -hmm. Driving a car. Yes. Uh, she won't be driving a car. Very good. Uh -huh. Will she 
driving a car? Mm, will she be? Will she be driving a car? Yes. Ahí está. That's it. Okay. That's all the verb tenses right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ahí I están. forget that. The Todas las reglas ahí. At a S with third person. Uh -huh, simple, simple present. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. She works. She works at a Super Selecto, for example. She works. She, she works. Uh, she works. She plays. Mm -hmm. She plays. Mm -hmm. Baseball. Correct. Correct. She eats. Eats. Macarrones. Okay. Spaghetti. She eats. Very, very good. What you can do is complete the chart that you have there, right? El que les mandé. Complete it okay. and then you can do it in Word. Complete it and send it to me so I can so I can check. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow, sir. All right. I'm going sure. to send you at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. p.m. Okay. P.m. No. A.m. or p.m. E.M. E.M. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Rafael, can you hear us? Or you still have problems with your headphones? Maybe have problems yet. Okay. All right. We're gonna go back to the groups. Uh, back to the to the meeting now. Okay. Selgo Oh, no wonder. Here it's in raining is raining now. Here in, in Metapan is raining now. Pretty hard. Very hard. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, okay very good. Care. All right. We were practicing the verb tenses, right? So we did six verb tenses. Important, right? Right now you are in intermediate level. So you should have knowledge of verb tenses. Uh, next levels, when you go into intermediate, uh, pre-avanzado, avanzado, you're going to learn the rest of the verb tenses. Okay? So normally... Profe, yo no les escucho, está cayendo una gran tormenta. Okay, bueno. Yeah, the same to me. Traten I can hear you. Traten lo más que pueden, okay? Yo, yo entiendo que hay, que hay lluvia ahorita. Okay, look, let's go to this uh, this game. Are you ready? I want to play a game with you. Okay. You're going to use going to or will? Choose the correct answer. What do you think? Will. I'm going to read it. Have you decided where to go? For your holiday? Yes. yes. I all plans have been made. A or B? B. B. Why B. B? Because you already decided. Because you already decided. Okay, very good. Choose the correct answer. Shall we meet on Tuesday morning? I can't on Tuesday. I have made an appointment to see the dentist. A. I'm going to the dentist on Tuesday. B. I will go to the dentist on Tuesday. B. A or B? Tienen que leer la, el contexto. Shall we meet on Tuesday morning? 
I can't on Tuesday morning. A. I have made an appointment a. to see the dentist. Hey, because it's a. He, know already he, have, he have appointment. Correct. He has an appointment already. <laughs> Choose the correct answer. Do you plan do you plan to travel around London by train? No, we have decided to hire a car, but no arrangements have been made. A, we are hiring a car. B, we will hire a car. B. I think it's B. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> Choose the correct answer. Let me see. Choose the correct answer. Okay. I want to go out to out tomorrow evening, but the children's babysitter is on leave. That's no problem. A. I'll look after the children. B. I'm going to look after the children. B. Mm, I think is no, I think it was A. I will. Okay. Okay. Choose next. the correct answer. Are you free at lunchtime tomorrow? No. I have arranged to meet Daniel for lunch. A. I'm having lunch with Daniel. B, I will have lunch with Daniel. A, A. I'm having lunch. So look, aquí no, está, no estamos usando going to, right? This is like a present. I'm having lunch with Daniel. I will. I think I will. Ah, no, no, no. I'm having lunch with Daniel. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh huh. What do you think? Choose the correct answer. What blank for lunch? I don't know. I can't make up my mind. The menu has quite a lot of variety. A. What are you going to have for lunch? A. I think it's A2. Okay, very good. So I'm going to stop right here because I have another activity that I want to do with you. Okay, so this is one on going to future with going to. Okay, you have affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Interrogative is the same as questions, right? So esto es lo mismo que hicimos en el cuadro. Eh, solo que aquí solo están viendo un verb tense, eh, going to. Uh, for example, you say, I'm going to study. I am not going to study. Am I going to study? Solo que ahí me estoy hablando yo. Me estoy preguntando yo. You are going to study. You aren't going to study. Are you going to study? Okay. Very good. So, look, why do we use going to? Aquí hay otra explicación. Future plans. Okay. Only be careful. Future plans that you already decided on. Okay? So algo que ya decidiste. Future plans, but something that you already decided on. Um, also, you can use it for intentions. Okay? For example, I put on some kilos. I'm going to join a gym. Intentions. Intentions. Also, you can use it for predictions, but you have to have algún tipo de evidencia, alguna base. Predictions. Look at the clouds in the sky. It's going to rain, right? So what is my evidence? Clouds, okay? So different usage, different ways that you can use going to, okay? It says, correct the following sentence. There is one mistake in each sentence. Okay? So la vamos a escribir de nuevo, pero eh, eh, correctamente. 
Okay, we have 15 minutes. So I want to work on this on this sheet. So we're going to do extra uh, questions one through six. Okay. There is a mistake. Hay un error. You have to change it. Okay. Algo le falta. Algo está extra. All right. I'm going to send you send you this sheet in WhatsApp so that we can work on it. Okay. Let's go to groups. Okay, that. Oh, wait, I have to put. Algunas personas se no fueron. Uh, Vladimir, I'm going to put you in group number. Hmm, hold on. Recreate our room. Hold on. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, let's do two groups. I'm going to put the worksheet in WhatsApp so that you guys can work on it together. Okay, hello. Are you guys working on the worksheet? No, yes, no. Okay, check what's up. I already sent it in what's up. Yeah, I already have. Okay, did you figure it out? What is wrong uh, with number one? And the number one I think is doing is wrong. I am going to do my homework after school. So do you think you have to have ING for, go, uh, for doing? Not there. No, only do. Uh huh. Because okay. you're already going. Okay. Today. I'm going okay. to do my okay. homework after school today. Okay. So you can write it in the correct way. Okay, number two. Let's see who else is here. Carla, number two. Um, she, she's going, she's going, she's going to play football uh -huh. on Saturday. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Good job. Number three. Michelle. I think is look at the sky. It is going to rain. So what do you need there? Is. Is, verb to be is. Very good. Interesante. Uh -huh. Only six, right? You finished? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, I'm going to put in the next worksheet that I have is wheel. Use of. Okay. okay. I'm going to put it in WhatsApp. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. 
check. So there you have to use the verb and will. Okay. The first is I love London. I probably I will go there next year. I you have to use probably, okay? Don't use will, right? Uh, yes, you have to use will. So, uh, I probably... But the subject... Uh, will. Will. Will uh -huh. go there next year. Right, pero en la cajita, ¿qué tenés que poner? Probably. Probably. Uh -huh. Let me see. The next. Eso lo podemos ir llenando. Oh, sí, ya, ya vi. Ah, very good. Hey, be careful with number one because it's uh, will. Primero va will. And I then, will. And then probably, and then go. I will probably mm -hmm. go. I will probably go, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably I go. think I found something nice in my nose. Where broke What is where broke? Uh, what wardrobe? War, I don't know. Wardrobe is where you put your clothes. Uh, we say in Spanish armario. Armario. Creo armario. Uh -huh. Where you can put your clothes. <laughs> I think I will find something nice in my nose, in my mouth, wardrobe. Yes, right there is moms. It's only that Mom. in English for um, British people, they say mom with a U. American English, M-O-M. Mm. -M. Okay. Moms. Okay, the third. My horoscope. Horoscope. Say horoscope. Horoscope. Horoscope, horoscope mm -hmm. says that I will meet an old friend this week. Okay, I will. Very good. Uh, it is weather forecast tomorrow. 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 I will. Here you no. don't have to use a subject because no subject, you're, right. you're speaking about the weather. So speaking about tomorrow the, the climate mm -hmm. will be dry and sunny yes tomorrow okay. will be correct okay wait i will drive i will drive you okay when you're finished with this one uh, let me see how much time solo nos queda cinco minutos but um what you can do is, I, I put another worksheet there that you can do with will, using will. Okay, check this one. Yeah, everything, correct. 20%. Uh-huh, go up. Ahí le va a salir 10. 20%. 10 de 10, arriba. Oh, yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay, very good. Now, no nos queda mucho tiempo, so no nos queda like three, four minutes. But um, you can look at the sheet that I sent, the next one, it's in WhatsApp. And th that one is using will. The first one is I probably, I love, I love London. 
I will, I will go. Uh, say, I will probably go. I will probably go there next year. Mm -hmm. Very good. I think I will find something nice in my. In I think my I history. will find something nice in my mom's wardrobe. Wardrobe. Do you know what a wardrobe is? Do you know what a wardrobe? Saben qué es un wardrobe? Como escritorio. No. Eh, armario. Armario. Uh huh. Yes, right. I will meet an old friend. I will meet. Tomorrow will be. Will. Yeah, I'm fine. I will open the door for you. I am hungry. Oh, I will make a sandwich. I will. I think he will be very successful. Who do you think will? Sorry to be late today. Okay, very good. That's it. Our time is done. Okay, so for homework, number one, the most important thing is that you finish the platform. Finish the test in the platform. Okay, si tienen alguna pregunta, me avisan. El examen, sección A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so finish the exam. Uh, we want to finish by Friday, okay? Uh, no le garantizo que le van a dar hasta el domingo. I don't know. But usually, uh, el día que dice que termina el curso, ahí es donde tenemos que terminar, terminar todo, ¿verdad? El curso termina el miércoles, se supone que ya, eh, perdón, el jueves. Se supone que para el jueves ya, ya hayan terminado todo. Pero si, tiene, si quieren tomar el viernes, pues, para revisar todo, está bien. Um, so, if you have any questions about the test, tell me. Then, what else can you do? Eh, hay varias cosas que pueden hacer. Eh, ahí está el material que hemos estado trabajando en clase. Lo pueden hacer otra vez. Pueden hacer la worksheet. Pueden hacer el cuadro con todos los verb tenses. Okay? And that can help you. All right, very good. So I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? See you. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.